Hello, my name is Sanjay Pradhan and I'm the CEO of the Open Government Partnership or OGP. I'm delighted to join forces with UNESCO in our shared agenda in advancing access to information. OGP is a global partnership of 78 countries, 76 local governments and thousands of civil society organizations. The objective is to ensure governments truly serve their citizens rather than themselves. To accomplish this, government reformers and civil society across OGP countries co-create concrete reform commitments in published OGP action plans to make governments more transparent, participatory and accountable to citizens. Access to information is a key eligibility criteria for countries to enter OGP and is a pervasive commitment in OGP action plans. So based on my experience, let me share with you three ways in which access to information helps ensure that citizens are better served by their governments. So first, access to information empowers the powerless, gives voice to the voiceless. So for instance, in northern Sri Lanka, villagers had suffered tremendous devastation during the civil war in the 1980s and had not received any compensation promised by the government. But when they heard about the right to information legislation that had been launched through the Sri Lanka's OGP action plan, villagers started filing appeals. The very next day, the money came into the bank account of one person. The next day in four people's accounts and again and again till villagers received the compensation that was due to them. Access to information gives citizens access to justice, to claim what is rightfully theirs. Moving forward, in Sri Lanka and elsewhere, governments need to uphold the principles of open government and ensure space for civil society and citizens to exercise their right to information. Second, access to information can empower citizens to monitor corruption and capture. In Ukraine, following the Maidan revolution, young reformers and activists launched two platforms to disclose all public procurement contracts, including now COVID-19 medical procurements, as open data and empowered citizens to report violations. In two years, citizens reported 14,000 violations. Government reported uh, savings of $1 billion. 82% of the private sector reported reduced corruption. Third, access to information um, uh, can be supported through digital technologies. For instance, Colombia created interactive web platforms and call centers that support access to information for blind and deaf citizens. At the same time, strong access to information provisions can help put in place safeguards to ensure that tools like algorithms and artificial intelligence are helping rather than hurting citizens. For instance, New Zealand has created an algorithms charter uh, to ensure transparency in algorithms and help citizens understand how their private data is used by governments. In closing, while much progress has been made in RTI, we are at a critical moment when RTI wins must be maintained, especially uh, in the wake of COVID-19 nearly and trends in democratic backsliding. Nearly one in five OGP countries have altered or suspended RTI frameworks in the wake of the pandemic. These absolutely need to be rolled back. The right to information is a fundamental right and vital to achieving that precious, precious promise that governments exist to serve their citizens rather than themselves. Thank you.